Hi, Sagittarius. It's Angela with Mystic Moon. Welcome to your May 31st through June 6th weekly reading. This reading this week is going to be based upon your divine connection with another person. So please just take what resonates you guys and get rid of anything that doesn't. Everything that you guys see here on camera will be listed down below. Let's go ahead and get started. What are the energies that are making up your soul connection this week? Your divine connection. Let's take a look. Energy is making up your divine connection this week. We have the bear. Ooh, I love that. Reserve nature, independent, routine and familiarity, protective and fierce. Okay. So spirit animal bear is coming through. Oh, we have the praying mantis. What's interesting is that I have been focusing on praying mantis all last week. Oh my God. Um, I want to get a pet, pet praying mantis and I'm a Sagittarius. So anyways, that totally speaks to me. Taking a time out, meditation and peace, higher realm energy, life purpose and mission. So if you guys are seeing these things, of course, that could also be something significant too. What else? Ooh, we have the full moon, this full moon in Sagittarius that just passed. This is making a lot of sense. Heightened sensitivity, visions and dreams, manifestation, ritual and ceremony. So some of you guys could have been experiencing all of these things during that full moon. This has led you now to this point on your journey. Your person also, I feel, has been um, significantly affected by whatever choices or whatever energy that you have shifted in yourself. It has actually affected your person in this very positive way as well. So it's like you guys are both taking some time for yourselves to be independent, to work on yourselves. So that's what seems to be happening in this connection at this particular time. So let's go ahead and see where your person is at towards you right now in this connection. What are they feeling? What energy are they holding towards? you. We have long distance. So it could be that it's been a long time since you and your person have actually spoken or have seen each, seen each other. It could be that you guys are just at a distance from one another. Okay. All right. So this one wants to pop out. This is the master of keys. That right there is the king of pentacles. King of pentacles is Taurus's energy. Um, it could be that you guys are obtaining some sort of keys, some masterships of yourselves in the material world. You're working on your success. You're working on um, just obtaining some sort of wisdom, okay? But doing really well financially. So I feel like your person at a distance, since you guys have either, let's just say, been in separation, they see you as somebody who's very successful or they have in fact been working on their success, working on themselves. It's very important to them that they have their ducks in a row for some reason when it comes to you. They may want to show you this aspect of themselves. They may want to be able to provide you some sort of security. Yeah, we have adjustments. They know that you guys need some sort of adjustment in your connection, okay? But they're working on making these adjustments within themselves so they can be successful when they return or when they come forward and offer you something. So two of keys, two of pentacles is also kind of like up in the air. We're kind of back and forth. I feel like one minute your person really um, feels your energy, but at the same time, they're really focused on themselves and they're just kind of letting you also focus on you and do you. So you guys are kind of, both back and forth in the same energy dynamic. You guys are both thinking about one another, but also very independent and working on yourselves. So it's like you guys have this unspoken agreement that maybe this period of separation or time that you're taking is a good thing. I like that. All right, so let's see what karma is still uh, playing at itself out. What kind of lessons are still lingering? We have a, a superficial energy, okay? So superficial is anything that's just of the material world, anything where it's just kind of like not super deep. We have the Imp of Rage, which is the Page of Wands temper tantrum. So the, to me, this is just like a very immature type of an energy here, okay? And we have the Ten of Swords, final cut. What I'm getting here is that when it comes to what are the karma or the lessons that are still playing out, somebody is still very much in that immature, uh, superficial stage, 10 of swords. Like they need to cut out something in their life. They need to cut out this superficial behavior, or they need to cut out their need to fulfill themselves with material things. Because at the end of the day, this materialism or whatever this is, it's actually not bringing them happiness. Uh, the king of pentacles can be very focused in the fi in finances, be very focused on 
feeling better about themselves when they achieve a certain status or goal. I'm getting here that as great as that is, there's a tendency to, to be on the dark side of that, which is placing way too much importance on material. So I feel like this is a, per, a part of you or your person's growth is that you guys are both learning here that money and success is not everything and that you might be trying to impress your person or they're trying to impress you with what you guys have achieved or accomplished. But it's like that really isn't what this connection is about. But for some reason, somebody feels that they feel better about themselves when they achieve certain things. But there, there still needs to be some, some growth here on a, on a soul level, not a financial level. So it's kind of like you guys are both trying to explore who you are and figure out who you are through the material world, but there's definitely still some deep soul, uh, energy, some soul connecting with yourselves, soul development, soul growth that still needs to take place. So this to me is just kind of like, uh, trying to cycle out this need to be successful, this need to have more, this need to have status and power. Somebody's cycling that out. I like that. So let's see what your person wants to communicate to you from their higher self. What do they want you to know and understand from their higher self? We have abandoned. Okay. What do they want you to know about that? They've thought a lot about you lately. If you abandon this person or they abandon you, they still think about you and that's what they want you to know. And they've thought a lot about you lately for some reason. So your energy is very high for them. Okay. If you've been picking up on their energy too, that is because they're thinking about you. I will make things right between us one day. They want you to understand and know that if they abandoned you or they hurt you in any way, they're thinking a lot about you lately and how they want to make things right between you one day. So one day your person does plan. It doesn't guarantee that they will, but they are planning on making things right between the two of you one day. That's what they want you to know. Beautiful. All right, let's see what their possible future energies may be towards you in the upcoming future. Possible energies or, um, yeah, just possible things that they may, um, do when it comes to you in this connection in the future energy exchange mermaid. Wow. So they want to exchange some sort of energy with you. They're, they're actually, okay. So depending on the cards that come up, if it's not in the physical world, they're exchanging energy by thinking about you. You guys are connecting in some sort of higher realm, maybe your dreams, telepathy, things like that sort of communication that's taking place. What do we got? Ooh, we have the towers energy here, Mars, Scorpio, or, um, Aries. So this is like death and transformation. This is like, wow, major, like crashing down divine intervention. Something happens here. You guys exchange some sort of energy and it's divinely orchestrated and it, and it, it it's like, it hits them like a ton of bricks. So something shifts and changes you guys in the, in, in like maybe even the physical world. Yeah. That's what I'm getting here. Wow. And we have, uh, the Leo's energy, which is all about illumination and growth. So you guys can grow. So you guys can, so where the two of you are at right now is you guys are in this agreement that you guys are working on being the best versions of yourself and that you're okay, that you're in this maybe separation. And it's because it's for growth and, and illumination purposes. But at some point, the, the, the universe is orchestrating that the two of you cross paths again, or that the two of you exchange energy in some sort of way. So this is something that's on the horizon I'm seeing with the sun's energy, and it could be connected to Leo season, which would be August. So that could be some kind of energy coming your way from this person. Okay. And it's going to, maybe it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks too. So let's see what spirit wants you to know. What do they want to leave you with for this connection? Yeah. Angel, guardian, angel, angel shapes. So there's some kind of maybe something that you're going to see from your angels. Your angels are going to bring something to you in the form of a shape. Maybe it's hearts and you're going to, um, be guided when it comes to this connection. I love this. See, you guys are committing to be the best versions of yourselves and you're enjoying the positive impact that it has on your connection. You guys are both on this level. So you and your person already have committed to this 
higher level, like this higher level of commitment that you've made to your, to yourselves and each other, that you wanted to come here and do something to better yourself. And because of this, it actually has an impact, a positive impact on your connection later on. So your spirits are connected. Your spirits will continue to be connected like a guardian angel. Somebody could also be like someone's guardian angel. They see you as a guardian angel. They see you as somebody, or this could be like your guardian angel. You work with this person energetically. And that's what spirit wants you to understand is that energetically, you guys are definitely connecting. You're de definitely exchanging energies and really focus and commit more to just continuing to be this better version of yourself, because this is going to have a positive impact on your connection later on. Wow. So you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that reading. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.